Ciao amici! Hi friends! Welcome to this vlog that is a back to business vlog because uh, it's uh, the 3rd of September and uh, I'm slowly getting back to my uh, business. I've been uh, on vacation for more than uh, a month and uh, now I'm slowly getting back to work. I mean, I am already working for more than a week but still I want to show you how I'm getting ready for this new season. After more than a month of vacation it's quite difficult to get back to work and also to social media but I decided that I will work a lot on my YouTube channel this season so be ready for many new videos. And in this vlog I will show you some of the tasks uh, for my business that are priority now because uh, it's a new fall winter season it's a uh, candle season and i will work a lot on my scent candles collection for my brand it's still very hot in milan it's more than 30 degrees celsius now i hope that it will get a bit cooler next days because it's really hard to work when it's so hot so i went outside just to take a coffee and walk a bit just to have my steps today but now i came back home to work i need to check what the package that i got from my candles supplier and uh, then i need to work quite a lot with social media i made a very nice uh, reel from um, the place uh, where i got uh, the cups for my next collection and uh, I need to make a voiceover in Russian because I have all my social media in two languages, in uh, English and in Russian. My little studio is quite a mess now. Actually, this is not a mess, it's just some packaging materials that I recycle. And here is the package that I got uh, like yesterday. And the funny fact is that it's written, keep away from sun and heat sources. But when this package arrived, this package arrived, it was like, I don't know, 50 <laughs> degrees Celsius hot. So I need to check if uh, all the supplies are fine because uh, I must have uh, some soy wax here and my essential oils. I just wanted to show you what I'm preparing for the next uh, limited edition for my brand. Uh, and uh, this... Uh, super cute cups you see they all are handmade and hand painted in italy in the town uh, in south of italy that's that it's called squillace it's uh, a town uh, that uh, is very antique and uh, they were always famous for their ceramics they are really beautiful all handmade all unique and uh, my idea is that I'm going to make completely sustainable candles uh, in the sense that they will be made of uh, uh, completely natural materials like soy wax. And I will also, for this collection, uh, I will use uh, not fragrance oils, but I will use natural essential oils. I just want to make uh, this kind of special collection because I know that there are some people that... Uh, want uh, to have 100% uh, natural product. In fact, uh, it's not. it doesn't mean that uh, it's bad if uh, you use uh, fragrance oil, because uh, of course, uh, fragrance oils give you much more freedom to create uh, fragrances. Uh, essential oils are quite limited. There are also some other technical characteristics uh, that make uh, fragrance oils better than essential oils, but I know that there are some customers that want 100% natural product, so I decided to add uh, this limited edition to my collection. And uh, uh, the fragrance oils that I use, that they are non-toxic, so anyway, they are not bad for your health, but uh, I still decided to add uh, essential oils. It's the first time for me, so I need to do some testing before launching this collection. 
but the interesting thing about this collection is that uh, it will be um, like cups. It's uh, really cups, it's not vessels for um, the candles. Let me sit, <laughs> I'm quite tired. Uh, it's not uh, uh, the vessels, it's like normal cups, ceramic cups, uh, handmade in Italy, uh, that uh, I will use as uh, candle vessels. And once the candle will be completely burned, the person can uh, wash it with warm water and soap, because uh, uh, soy wax is quite uh, soft and uh, it's really easy to wash. So uh, once this one will be finished as a candle, you can wash it and you can use it as a cup, like coffee cup, tea cup, uh, mm, I don't know, matcha cup, whatever you like. And I think it's a very cute idea that will be completely sustainable, not only uh, in sense of uh, natural materials, uh, but also in sense that you can recycle the vessel and it will become really a beautiful object uh, in your kitchen, uh, handmade, uh, very unique. So this is the idea of my collection. This collection will be very limited. Uh, so I wanted to show you some of the colors that will be here. Uh, they all are the same as uh, a shape of the cup, but uh, here are four different colors and patterns, like uh, these abstract ones, uh, green, like emerald green, and uh, blue one, and uh, other two will be with these cute uh, florals that are also hand-painted. You can see it actually, that there is no the same floral and uh, flower, sorry, and uh, it will be in uh, two colors. It will be uh, violet and orange. This collection will be super limited. It will be like really just a few items. Uh, so cute. So when it will be online, you should hurry up. So I opened this box that I got. And uh, here I have uh, the soy box. You can see it. It's like quite a big palette of soy box. And I ordered some samples of essential oils that I need to try. I really wanted to try lavender essential oil uh, and uh, some kind of citrus. And I took this uh, Petit Grand Paraguay. Let's try them. Let's try lavender. And this one is really good. You know, it's very lavender because it's natural essential oil. But it seems also a bit like uh, mint. I don't know why, but I have this impression that it's a bit minty. So it's very refreshing. Probably I will also use this one as pure scent, like this, as it is from the bottle. Because I really like how it smells. It doesn't smell like one dimensional. It's a quite complex fragrance and uh, it's very natural as it's na essential oil. And it's really nice. I love it. This is very appreciated. Let's see another one, this Petit Grand Paraguay. That is a kind of uh, citrus but uh, I never tried it before. It's interesting, but you know, it's a bit weird. I mean, it doesn't smell exactly like citrus. It smells a bit more like something floral mixed with tomato. <laughs> I don't know, it's strange. <laughs> Why citrus smells like tomato? <laughs> I didn't expect this. I don't know if I will use it, but we can still consider it. <laughs> Hi guys. 
So I did uh, my social media post in Russian that I told you. I did the voiceover for the video that I already uh, that I've already posted before in English, and uh, now I'm uh, registering on uh, the website of one uh, uh, market. Uh, so I can participate uh, this autumn. I don't think uh, I don't know if I manage to do it in October, but for sure I will try to register for November, because uh, it's uh, an important time when uh, people start to buy uh, Christmas presents. So it's a good um, opportunity to sell uh, the candles and also the apparel that I have. This market uh, will be in Milan, in uh, the place that it's called Spirit uh, de Milan. And uh, one girl that I met um, uh, in uh, another market told me that it's a good event, that uh, she always had success there, she was selling well, she sells uh, uh, accessories, and she advised me to try this market in Spirit de Milan. So um, I will try to get a place there. Good morning, friends. It's the next day and uh, I'm going to uh, one bar that I really like, where I usually go to work. Because today I start to edit uh, the vlog from Iceland uh, for my English channel, this one. So you will see it. It will be already on uh, my channel when you will see this vlog so you you will be able to find it and watch and uh, I think it will be a very long video so I will start the editing today and uh, then we'll see I don't know when I will manage to finish it today or tomorrow anyway I want to put a bit more effort in this vlog from Iceland because I got really beautiful footage and uh, I want to work a bit better with the music uh, this time. Usually I don't use much music in my videos because I don't have uh, the one without uh, author rights and I don't want my videos to be demonetized. But now I'm going to try uh, some portals uh, for music and make it more beautiful. I've heard many times about uh, epidemic sound it's like a platform where you can get the music for your videos that will be uh, uh, free of the offer rights if you pay. But uh, I don't know, I checked it and it seems quite expensive. I don't know if I'm ready to do this investment, but still I can try it for seven days and maybe making this vlog from Iceland, I will try it for seven days see how it will work and if i understand that it works it i think i will pay for the membership uh, of this platform we'll see because i really want to work on the quality on the artistic side of my videos and i think that music is a very important part of it this uh, Square is really nice. It's full of restaurants and my bar is right there. This is my office. Good morning. It's the next day of work with uh, the book from Iceland. I'm in the bar again. I went to my favorite bar that is called Marla here in uh, Porta Romana area. And uh, today the weather is terrible. I arrived uh, all wet here and just now I feel a bit more uh, dry. It started raining tonight and it's never stopped. Look what we have. We have uh, like some lakes here. 
Milan is always like this. It's always like this after the rain. I think they just didn't make the roads in the right way. I was making editing in the bar for like two hours. I'm quite tired. And I saw that this weather will be like this, very rainy all day long. So I think I will go back home, change my clothes, go to the gym for an hour to do some cardio. And uh, then I will come back and uh, work again. Because today my goal is uh, to finish the editing of uh, this vlog from Iceland. And uh, tomorrow I think I will uh, work with the music. I mean, I want to see all the kinds of music on Epidemic Sound and then I will choose something for this vlog. I want to make it really beautiful because I think it's a very precious kind of uh, footage. I showed all my trip all around Iceland in this vlog. So I really want to do it the best I can because I think it will bring a good traction to my channel. Hi guys! It's another working day. Today I'm working a lot at home because uh, I need to do some social media stuff. And I wanted to tell you that uh, the vlog from Iceland that I told you about, I was working on it for more than five days. And um, it was quite tough because uh, it is the longest vlog uh, in the history of my channels. It's more than one hour long, uh, one hour, 12 minutes, I guess, only because I decided to break it in two parts because actually the footage that I have is much longer. Uh, so I decided that uh, more than an hour, it will be too much. So I will do two parts of this vlog. And the first part is already published on my channel. You can see it here among my new videos. I think also the thumbnail is quite cute with all these eyes from glaciers. To be honest, I didn't expect that it will be so difficult to work on this vlog because uh, being so long and uh, so heavy as a file, it was really hard to save it from my editing program. So I had to edit different pieces uh, in my InShot app. Uh, actually, I edit all my vlogs in InShot. Uh, just in case if you want some easy editing uh, app. In short, it's really easy to understand uh, even if you never worked uh, in any editing program. And I edited some pieces in in short and then I had to put them together uh, on my computer because actually only my computer managed to deal with such a heavy file. But now I know how it works. I mean, uh, I know how to do it efficiently for the second part of the vlog. So I think it would be easier. And uh, the second parts of this Iceland's vlog uh, will be um, posted uh, this week as well. And uh, if you subscribe to my channel, you will see it. By the way, I wanted to show you that I also work with uh, email marketing. For example, today I made this uh, newsletter uh, in Russian for my Russian audience about the fact that there are two new YouTube videos published on my channel. I think uh, email marketing is really a good way to connect with your audience. So already from this morning I did quite many tasks. I, I made a post in my Russian Instagram account I uh, did this newsletter, I replied to some comments uh, on my English YouTube channel and uh, did some other small things. And uh, actually now I need to pack an order uh, from my uh, online store uh, and I will need to bring it to the courier today. I will show you this order, we will pack it together. 
and then I need to work on my candles because actually I'm going to launch uh, limited edition collection uh, with, uh, as I already told before, with this uh, uh, like pure essential oils and uh, some limited edition vessels. And uh, I need to make a tester because uh, before I launch anything, I make testers of these products and I test how it burns, if it's safe, if uh, the cold throw and the hot throw uh, of the candle are good. So uh, I need to make this tester to be sure that my idea will actually work and uh, we will make it together. I also need to smooth the tops of some candles that I already made before with a heat gun because um, soy wax have uh, this uh, uh, characteristic that um, when it uh, becomes solid very often it's not very smooth on the top so to have uh, a beautiful and well-functioning candle uh, you need to smooth the tops uh, with uh, hot air usually with heat gun i have like a special tool for it and uh, after you make the upper layer of the uh, wax uh, melt it becomes uh, more flat it becomes smooth and when it becomes solid it becomes uh, more aesthetic and also the candle burns better more even so this is the beautiful order that i need to pack the client has ordered this beautiful t-shirt with, uh, let me show you, in Vino Veritas embroidery. Here's my bag. So I will need to pack this t-shirt. I will also add my branded card because uh, this client, I guess uh, she ordered this t-shirt as a gift uh, because she also left the note to write on the card. And I also add uh, a small gift to every order until I have these gifts. Uh, it's my uh, candle from uh, my collection, scented candle. As you see, it's uh, Fico di Calabria fragrance. Uh, you can find it on my website in a bigger size. I make these minis uh, just especially for the orders to add as a gift. I don't have them on my website yet, but you will find the same fragrance, a very fresh one, greeny, fruity, I really love it. It's one of uh, best selling fragrances from my collection. And uh, I saw that many people, people love these minis. So maybe later I will add them to the website, but now I just add them as a gift. I think it's a cute one. Look how beautiful the embroidery is. beautiful package is going to the courier. I will try to ship the orders as soon as possible. Good morning friends. It's a new day. Yesterday I uh, brought the order to the courier and I needed to do some other stuff working and personal and uh, I didn't make the candles yesterday. So today will be the candles making day, but uh, first I would like to go to get some coffee and uh, to reply to the comments on my social media because uh, very often I don't have time to do it and it's not fine because uh, the main part is uh, building the community and I like to communicate with my followers so I need to create time for it. We finally have a really nice weather in Milan because it's sunny but it became much cooler. I love this kind of weather because I was very tired of hot weather. 
So guys, I'm back to my little studio and uh, now I need uh, to smooth the tops of uh, some candles, uh, some of the previous collections because I have several candles that don't have smooth tops for some reason, I just want to fix them and I need to fix uh, the tops of the candles from the new collection, I will tell you about it a bit. So I'm just going to work the tops of these beauties a bit, so they will be smooth. I just wanted also to explain you some things about soy candles. In general, uh, soy wax is a natural wax and uh, it is uh, less steady than, for example, paraffin wax. But it's better for your health because it's natural, it's not made of petroleum as the paraffin wax. Uh, but the problem uh, uh, with uh, soy wax is that uh, very often the tops of the candles uh, after you pour them uh, are not smooth. It's just some characteristic of this kind of wax. Everyone has it and uh, after it you need to work it with the heat gun to make them smooth, to make them uh, presentable. But I wanted to tell that if in case you buy a soy wax candle and the top is not very smooth, don't worry because it doesn't affect much how the candle will burn and when it will burn uh, the wax will melt and the next time it's become smoother so don't worry if uh, you see some in imperfections it's uh, nothing bad it's just aesthetic part but of course i try to make my candles as beautiful as possible i always uh, sell them with smooth tops and uh, i just like how it looks so here is the heat gun that I use to smooth the tops of my candles and I will show you how it works. I bought it on Amazon. It's not difficult to find it and it's not expensive. So you just start to melt it all around and you see when the wax melts it becomes much smoother. And after it will stabilize, it will be fine. I just want to smooth some of these bubbles. I just don't like how they look like. So as you see, now the tops are melted. And then they will stabilize, they will be smooth. So these were the candles from my previous collections that I just wanted to fix a bit. And here we have a completely new collection that I didn't launch yet. It will be launched, I think, in the end of September. It's an amazing fragrance. These candles have wooden wicks. They'll be different from that one that have cotton wicks. And uh, I will tell you a bit about this new fragrance. You see, the vessel is uh, very similar as a shape, but it's uh, black opaque and it has wooden wick. And now I will tell you a bit about the fragrance. Sorry that I don't have much light because I had to close the window. It's too hot with the sun that it's uh, getting uh, in the window from this side of the room. And uh, here is my brand new fragrance for my collection. It is one of the most loved fragrances uh, in the world and it's a coffee fragrance. Uh, it is uh, freshly brewed uh, like Italian espresso coffee with vanilla. It's a super warm, very cozy fragrance, uh, very energizing but relaxing at the same time because uh, coffee uh, it gives you a boost of energy, but vanilla is uh, very calming, it's very comforting, so I really love this fragrance. I made my own mix, it's not some uh, ready fragrance oil, so I was working to make this formula and uh, I'm looking forward to launch it. 
uh, I think it will be the end of September. Now I need to smooth the tops as you see because it's also natural soy wax and after I made these candles I already made them in August uh, and uh, they are well stabilized but uh, I need to smooth the tops so uh, they will be ready for the launch. I need to create the labels, I already have the idea of the name and uh, I have the idea of the design, but I need to create uh, these labels, I mean the design, and then print them. Here's the first small beautiful batch of this new fragrance, uh, coffee with vanilla. Uh, it will be called uh, in a particular way, something that I already have in my apparel collection, because uh, I want to make like the same line for these uh, candles and uh, this is the first batch so when i will launch it i will have just 10 items on my website so if you're interested don't miss it uh, i will announce it uh, in my instagram so you can follow it you can find the link uh, to my instagram to the instagram of my brands uh, in the description of this video and now let's smooth these tops It will be a bit more difficult, I guess, because uh, they are well stabilized as I made them almost a month ago to have them ready, but I think it's fine. Mm. As soon as they start to melt, the fragrance is so nice, so warm and cozy, and so it's very original. I didn't try many candles like this. And now all the tops of these candles, new candles with the new coffee and vanilla fragrance are melted, and they will stabilize in a smoother way. They look very cute and stylish, I guess. Also, the label will be quite simple, it will be black and white, so this one will be quite minimalistic kind of design. So I smoothed the tops of the candles with the heat gun and uh, now I switched on uh, my uh, boiler for the wax. I'm waiting um, until it melts because I need to make uh, the sample of the candle with uh, essential oils for the new collection that I want to try. And uh, while the wax is melting, I'm uh, working with some collaborations. I mean, I'm trying to get some collaborations with uh, retailers. Um, I already got to know one um, woman uh, that owns uh, like candle store and um, I hope we will manage to collaborate because I would like to see my candles in the stores in Milan. I have sent her an email and let's hope that this collaboration will work. So the wax is already melted and we can start to work with the sample. First, I always mix the wax to be sure that it has homogeneous condition. Then I pour the amount I need to the pitcher. Then I always measure its temperature with a special thermometer to be sure that it's the right one to pour the fragrance. I've heard that you shouldn't pour essential oils when it's too hot because it can evaporate. So I tried to keep it quite low. I poured the essential oils and uh, mixed for a couple of minutes. It's the first time that I make a candle with a pure essential oil and I have no idea how it will turn out. That's why I'm doing a tester. After a couple of days, when the candle will become solid, I will also make a burning test. I do these steps with all the candles in my collections to be sure that they are safe and that they perform well. I'm really obsessed with the quality of my products. 